Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, this is week 7 assignment of the course Database Management System. Guys, for the past, past 5 years, we have been giving these solutions for various courses including the Database Management System. So, I think most of the solutions are correct. So, I tried my best to give you the most accurate answers guys. These are completely my probable solutions. If you feel uh, there should be any changes to be made to the solutions, you can please give your opinion in the comment section. So, we will try to sort it out and up update the solutions if needed guys. So, before final submission, once again visit the comment section for any updates available. So, now let's see the first question guys. So, consider the following schedule is involving 5 transactions and these are the information regarding that. So, they are asking, choose the correct options for the above transaction schedule. So, for first question, the probable answer is option A guys. The schedule is both view and conflict serializable schedule. So, mark option A as correct answer for first question. So, mark option A. Now, moving on to the second one. So, second one, consider the following schedule as involving 5 transactions, the similar one, but they are asking here, identify the possible number of conflict serializable schedules of the above schedule S. So, possible number of conflict serializable schedules. So, for second question, the probable solution is once again, option A, that is 1 guys. So, guys, these are completely my probable solutions. So, for the students who, who are unable to do their solutions on their own due to lack of time or due to any issues, we are doing the solution for those kind of students guys. So that's it. So if you want us to change any solution or any MCQ, you can please give your opinion in the comment section. So I tried my best to give you the most accurate solutions guys. So now let's see the third one. So, before getting into this third question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So, that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So, there are two packs available, guys. Savings pack and super savings pack. So, both are the PDF access given. So, these are the previous year MCQs, guys. So, in the savings pack, you will get 160 MCQs and the price is 300 rupees, guys. And for super savings pack, it is here you can get a huge number of 320 MCQs guys and the price is just 500 rupees only. And if you take savings pack and up, up to 3 member access will be given and if you take the super savings pack up to 5 members can get this guys. So if you share the price with your friends or classmates individually you can reduce the price right. So for 500 rupees you will get 320 MCQs and for 300 rupees you will get 160 MCQs guys. So the topic coverage is medium in savings pack and very high topic coverage is available in super savings spec. So such option is also available in both of these guys and easy to revise also because they are in MCQ form. These are completely previous year NPTEL questions guys, 100% based on NPTEL syllabus for the data, database management system. So these are the exam preparation MCQs which will be helpful for you to prepare for the final exam guys. With 5 years of NPTEL experience, we have collected these MCQs guys. So, this is the email ID you have to mail me, pk179417 at the rate gmail.com. So, I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section, guys. So, mail me to this email ID if you want to purchase this savings pack or super savings pack, guys. So, in super savings pack, you will get 320 MCQs for 500 rupees and 160 MCQs for 300 rupees, guys. So, there is another thing that is YouTube membership. So, it is a sample pack. You will get 100 MCQs, just 100 MCQs. It is for one person and for one month. If you want this, it is 89 rupees. No need to message me. Directly go to our channel page, Eskumar Edu. And beside this subscribe button, there is join button, right? So, click on that. And a page will appear, window will be appear like this. Select 89 per month pack and click on join. Again, that's it. You will get access to members only videos, guys. So, I have already uploaded database management system questions guys or uh, the videos part 1 and part 2 available for this members only videos so you can join our channel for youtube membership but it is a sample pack guys but my recommendation is it's better to take this savings pack I mean a uh, super savings pack because you are getting huge number of 320 mcqs to prepare for just 500 rupees only guys 
up to five members can access once you purchase with 500 rupees guys already many students have taken our our channel pdf tax for various courses guys so already many people started taking that so take it now itself in order to save time for at the final exam guys so this is the email id message me to this email id guys now let's get back to the syllabus solutions so third question identify the correct option that represent the order of execution of all the transactions of the above schedule s so for third question the answer is option c guys so mark option c as correct answer for third question next moving on to the fourth one suppose in a database there are four transactions transaction 2 is waiting for transactions 3 and 4 and t1 is waiting for t3 and t3 is waiting for t4 to release the data item so identify the correct wait for graph for the above scenario so for fourth question the answer is second option guys second option so mark option b guys option b moving on to the fifth one so consider the schedule so which of the following is true about the schedule s yes, according to this data table so for fifth question the answer is option c yes is serializable only as t1 and t2 so mark option c now moving on to the sixth one identify the correct statement about the lock compatibility matrix where S denotes a shared mode lock and X denotes a exclusive mode lock. So this is the table given lock compatibility matrix. This is so for sixth question, there are two probable solutions, guys. The first one is option B and the other one is option C. So mark B and C. Next, the seventh one. Seventh question. Suppose in a database there are three transactions with timestamp 15, 18, and 19. T2 is holding some data items which T1 and T3 are requesting to acquire. So, what are the correct options with respect to wait die deadlock prevention scheme? So, for seventh question, there are two options, guys. The first one is option A. Tran transaction T1 will wait for T2 to release the data item. And the other one is fourth option, guys. Transaction T3 will be rolled back. So mark option A and D, guys, as probable solutions for seventh question. Now moving on to the eighth question. So for eighth question, which of the following statement is or not true? So for eighth question, the probable answer is option A, guys. T1 follows the rigorous two-phase locking protocol only, but T2 follows the strict two-phase locking protocol. So mark option A. Moving on to the ninth question. So before getting into this ninth question, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So we are having two packs, savings pack and super savings pack. In super savings pack, uh, both the packs, you'll get PDF access. So in super savings pack, you'll get a huge number of 320 MCQs, which are equal to four years NPTEL questions, guys. The previous year MCQs we are providing for just 500 rupees only, guys. Up to five members can access for one 500 rupees purchase. And for savings pack, only 160 MCQs available. The price is 300. Up to three members can access, guys. So the topic coverage is very high in super savings pack. And such option is also available and it is also easy to revise, guys. And there is YouTube membership sample pack only for one person 89 rupees but in video format only for one month guys so this is sample pack but my suggestion is it's better to take 320 mcqs 500 rupees pack because you are getting more mcqs and more members can access 
this back days uh, till the, the validity will be till the exam day. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected the solution uh, previous year MCQs, guys. So this is the email ID if you want to purchase. I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section, guys. This is the email ID if you want to purchase. Then only mail me, guys. Already many students have taken out PDF packs from our channel regarding various courses and got benefited. So take it now itself, guys. So the course have reached the end, almost end. So this is the mail ID if you want to purchase, then mail me, guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So ninth question. For the ninth question, I have got the answer as fourth option, guys. Neither S1 nor S2 will suffer from deadlock. Moving on to the final question of the solution uh, assignment, that is tenth one. So for tenth and final question, I got the answer as option A guys both schedules S1 and S2 are recoverable schedules so I am going with option A only that is option A so friends these are the solutions for week 7 assignment of DBMS course hope this video helpful for you guys so don't forget to mail me to get this 500 rupees uh, 320 MCQ pack guys so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates and do purchase this 320 mcq spec guys it will be very much helpful for you in preparation for the final exam so this is the mail id if you want to mail me i will give the same email id in the description box and also in the comment section guys so that's it guys for this video so hope so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you